Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. And as part of a new expansion's update, we got a ton of class changes on the horizon, with the first build of Alpha giving us a ton of new revamps. Certain classes are expected to see massive overhauls, like warriors and monks, with the base class talent tree becoming completely revamped. But there's also going to be individual spec changes, with things like balance druids, preservation evokers, fury warriors, all getting some fundamentally big spec specific adjustments. And that's no different for the class of Paladin. And while the well-known Justicar of Light and Justice is really going to be that much different, Retribution and Holy are going to be going through some fundamentally big changes as the devs seek to solve the Paladin's secondary stat problem while giving them more build variety and even a middle ground between AoE and single target playstyles. As for Holy Paladin, they're looking to get juiced up with a lot more healing focused talents as well as some brand new mechanics being added as part of the alpha update. So for today's video, I want to take a deeper look at some of the Paladin specific changes or rather Retribution and Holy Paladin specific changes that we've seen so far on the War Within Alpha. But right before that, most of you guys watching these kind of update videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight Patch 10-6, 10-7, Season 4, or any of the future War Within updates. When it comes to base Paladin talents, we don't see nearly as many changes like we did with Warriors, Monks, and Druids. But at the very least, there is one quality of life improvement with greater judgment, which may now have multiple applications of the debuff overlapping at once, which should actually be a pretty good for all three Paladin specs not to lose out on the value of the judgment debuff. Where Paladins see only a few class changes, the spec specific changes for Retribution and Holy are actually numerous, as the devs wish to solve some of the most fundamental issues with both of these playstyles. Starting out with Retribution Paladin, we have two main big goals that they wish to accomplish in the War Within Alpha, one of which being secondary stat scaling and better gear optimization. You see, Retribution stats have been kind of out of sync ever since the big rework before the second raid of Dragonflight back in the patch 1007. Generally, the rework was a big gain for many Paladins, but after a few raid tiers, the cracks have begun to show themselves. And Paladins found that gearing and secondary stat management is a little bit awkward for them. Critical Strike, for instance, is a hard stat to invest into because so many of their skills have guaranteed Critical Strike baked into it, making crit less valuable. Mastery increases the value of all holy damage, but it saw a pretty big decline after the rework due to poor scaling. Haste is a very decent stab, but only up to a certain point, leaving them to invest a considerable amount of points into versatility, which has very poor late game scaling, and it's generally not as exciting of a stat to invest into. In War Within, they're changing some of their spells to no longer automatically crit, but instead gain additional value when the Paladin does land a crit. Mastery scaling is also being updated and the mastery is now a different passive proc, causing them to blast their target with additional holy damage when casting judgment, which should hopefully make it a little bit more interactive. Another issue they wanted to solve for Paladins was AoE and single target build variety. Currently Paladins can either be very good at cleaving or single target, but not decent at both, and a new hybrid talents are being introduced to help fill out that gap. Some of the new talents being introduced into the alpha are going to be burned to ashes, which causes Truth's Wake critical strikes to extend the duration of that dot effect. Your other damage over time effects deal 30% more damage to the targets afflicted by Truth's Wake, which is a nice new interaction. Art of War is a bit different now, and reads that your auto attacks have a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of Blade of Justice, but auto attack crits increase that chance by an additional 10%. As for the talent of Divine, Hammer. It will now function very similar to the Death Knight's talent Breath of Syndragosa. While active, Divine Hammers will spin around you, consuming holy power every few seconds to deal radiant damage to everyone around the Paladin. While active, all holy power generating skills recharge 75% faster and increase the rate at which Divine Hammer strikes by 15% per cast. This talent will have a 2 minute cooldown and the Hammer Strikes now will scale with haste as well. Final Reckoning is also a little bit different. It now increases the damage taken from single target holy power spenders by 30% and the damage from all the other spenders by 15. 
Vengeful Wrath now reads, Hammer of Wrath deals 50% increased damage to enemies below 35% health. Vanguard of Justice causes Tempo's Verdict and Divine Storm to cost 1 additional Holy Power but no more, making them deal 20% more damage. Templar Strikes is also being redesigned. It is now a two-part combo, a Templar Strike followed by a Templar Slash, with a Slash burning the enemy target for 50% additional damage over 4 seconds. Next is Abjucation, where Critical Strike damage of all abilities is being increased by 5%, and Hammer of Wrath has now a chance to cast High Lord's Judgment also. Blades of Light has also been changed. Crusader Strike, Judgment, Hammer of Wrath and Single Target Holy Power Spenders will deal Holy Strike damage and all Holy Strikes will deal 5% more damage. Divine Arbiter will now grant you stacks from your Mastery procs as well as Holy Strike attacks. Searing Light causes Mastery procs and Radiant damage a chance to call down an explosion of Holy Fire. And while by no means is Retribution Paladin done when it comes to its final class tuning and changes before the Alpha, the Beta and the release of War Within, the changes we've seen so far are actually kind of exciting, with a lot of new talents coming to support a new mastery playstyle for Paladin, but also hopefully give it a much better scaling when it comes to secondary stats and the choices in which stats they wish to invest into. Overall, I'm very excited about these changes, especially this new Divine Hammer, Breath of Syndragosa style talent that has been added for Paladin which is an interesting new gameplay option. Personally, I do hope the Paladin doesn't by default become a 2 minute class all of a sudden, but that is a possibility if the Divine Hammer playstyle, combined with all the other talents, proves to be a very potent combo. Next, when it comes to Holy Paladin, we see a number of changes planned for the War Within. First, they wish to replace how Light of the Martyr works in the Alpha, keeping the theme of self-sacrifice while removing an entire keybind out of the Paladin's bars. They also wish to rework Blessing of Summer to better support Paladin's healing role rather than being a direct damage buff for an ally. And they also want to take out some of the power out of Beacon of Light healing, but inject that power back into their basic healing abilities so they could feel a little bit more punchy. The new Light of the Martyr talent now reads, while above 80% health, Holy Shock's healing is increased by 20%, but those Holy Shocks now create a heal absorb on you for 30% of the amount healed that prevents Beacon of Light from being able to heal you. Bestow Light is the upgrade talent for Light of the Martyr and causes the Light of the Martyr's health threshold to be reduced down to 70 maximum health increasing Holy Shock healing by an additional 5% for every 5 seconds that Light of the Martyr debuff is active, stacking up to 3 times. But if you drop below 70% health, the Light instead urgently heals you every second until it can stabilize the Paladin back to above 70% health. The new Blessing of Summer now reads, Bless an ally for 30 seconds, causing 20% of all healing to be converted into damage onto nearby enemies, and 10% of all damage dealt to be converted into healing onto an injured ally. And when it comes to individual class spells, Beacon of Light transfer healing is being reduced roughly by 10%, but the healing of Ward of Glory is being increased by 25%, Light of Dawn increased by 20%, and Holy Shock further increased by 20%. Next, Blessing of Sacrifice now transfers 30% of all damage taken to the Paladin instead of 20, but its cooldown reduction with Sacrifice of the Just has been greatly cut down, making Sack for Holy Paladins basically a 2 minute cooldown or shorter by 15 seconds at most, drastically changing up the amount of externals they could provide to their allies. But the main thing I really want to see out of my Holy Paladin is big bursty spot healing. Currently, it feels like the Dragonfly Paladin is a little bit overloaded, with too many cooldowns that you have to manage and makes the spec feel so much less effective outside of your major abilities. So juicing up the Paladin's base healing is a good move personally, and I cannot wait to see how the new Light of the Martyr effect is gonna work out. And it's also going to be a mechanic that's going to reward Paladins with better healing if they're able to mine mechanics and minimize personal damage taken, which I think could be a huge way to reward the player for playing fights correctly. Also, I'm kind of a fan of the new Blessing of Summer mechanic. Having the buff focus on improving Paladins healing is awesome and allows them to focus on the primary role without feeling like the group's buff bot, which is what the current version of Summer kind of feels like at times. And for now, that's gonna be everything we got so far coming for Paladins in the War Within Alpha. 
As for always, I want to thank all of you so much for watching this video and hope you guys enjoyed. And also remember, everything we talk about Paladin changes is so far the early alpha version. There's going to be plenty more builds, plenty more updates, and plenty more changes coming to a bunch of different classes. So I guess I want to pass it off to you guys in the comments down below. What changes do you think Paladins need going forward for War Within? Or rather, what would make you enjoy your Paladin even more? Would you want to see more mobility, a return of some of the older talents, or maybe buff certain aspects that you feel are currently lacking for either of the three specs? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.